should change your name to laughter. You bring joy to every room. Oh, the voices vanish after hearing such a lovely tune. to Crew Hall on this very, very special occasion, the wedding of David and Karen. My name is Prudence O'Gorman and it's my great pleasure to be conducting your wedding ceremony today. And may I also introduce my colleague and registrar for the ceremony, Sally Ward. And I hope that today is going to be such a memorable and happy day for both of you and for all your family and friends gathered here to witness this public declaration of your commitment to each other. We all know that marriage is much more than just the wedding day. It's really about your life together once the celebrations are over. Marriage is a journey. It's an adventure where each of you will love, care for and support each other. And as family and friends, You've all been invited here to share this joyful occasion with David and Karen and to give your love and support to them, not just for today, but for the rest of their lives together. So, David, would you confirm your full name, please? David Nicholas Summerfield. And Karen? Karen Louise Harvey. Thank you. This place in which we are now all met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriage. And if any person here knows of any lawful reason why David and Karen cannot marry today, they should declare it now. No, we'll just carry on quickly. Before you promise yourselves to each other in marriage, it is my duty to remind you of the solemn unbinding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of two people 
voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. But more than this, marriage is intended to provide the love and friendship, the help and comfort that we all need in times of joy and in times of hardship. Marriage is a deep and lasting commitment and I'm now going to ask both of you to declare in turn that you know of no legal reasons that would prevent your marriage today. So David, if you'd say these words, please. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Any lawful impediment. Why I, David Nicholas Summerfield. Why I, David Nicholas Summerfield. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Karen Louise Harvey. To Karen Louise Harvey. Kira now, Karen. Don't know if I can quite <laughs> Impediment. <laughs> I, I do solemnly declare, sorry, I do solemnly declare, I do solemnly declare, that I know not, that I know not, of any lawful impediment, any lawful impediment, why I, Karen Louise Harvey, I, Karen Louise Harvey, may not be joined in matrimony, may not be joined in matrimony, to David Nicholas Summerfield, to David Nicholas Summerfield. Thank you. Now, who did you want to give your flowers to? <laughs> now, if you would face each other now, please. Because you are now going to make the promises to each other that will form the foundation of your marriage. So, please hold hands if you wish. It's entirely up to you. So, David, please say these words. Karen, today I promise. Karen, today I promise. To spend the rest of my life with you. To spend the rest of my life with you. I will be faithful and honest. I'll be faithful and honest. I will share with you my hopes and dreams. I will share with you my hopes and dreams. I will always be there when you need me most. I'll be always be there when you need me most. And I will respect and support you. I will respect and support you. As we go through life together. As we go through life together. Cute and now, Karen. <clears throat> David, today I promise. David, today I promise. To spend the rest of my life with you. To spend the rest of my life with you. I will be faithful and honest. I will be faithful and honest. I will share with you my hopes and dreams. I will share with you my hopes and dreams. I will always be there when you need me most. I'll always be there when you need me the most. And I will respect and support you. And I will respect and support you. As we go through life together. As we go through life together. Thank you. Marriage is a desire by two people to share themselves and their experiences with one another and a willingness to accept each other for who they are. Marriage is where each partner cares for the other and supports them in all that they do. It demands courage, the courage to be open, the courage to grow and change, and the courage to sort out together the tasks of everyday living. <coughs> Marriage requires closeness and distance, the closeness of a couple growing together, but enough distance to allow each person to remain an individual. A good partner in such a marriage will be loving, they'll be caring, but above all, they'll be a best friend. Now, just a few moments ago, you made special promises to each other. But now, in the presence of all your family and friends, you are going to exchange the vows that will make your marriage legal and binding. The institution of marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily, and with the full and unreserved consent of you both. Therefore, do you, David Nicholas Summerfield, take Karen Louise Harvey, here present, to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And do you, Karen Louise Harvey, take David Nicholas Summerfield, here present, to be your lawful wedded husband. I do. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, 
They create a spirit unique to themselves, and this binds them closer than any spoken or written word. Marriage is a promise. It's a potential made in the hearts of two people who truly love each other, and this takes a lifetime to fulfill. Now, David and Karen ask you all to now witness that they are now taking one another as a lawful husband and wife. So, David, please say these words. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons present. To witness that I, David Nicholas Summerfield. That, that I witness. That I. That I witness, David Nicholas Summerfield. Do you take thee, Karen Louise Harvey. Do you take thee, Karen Louise Harvey. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I will love and care for you. I will love and care for you. We just look at each other. I, I will love and care for you. I will love and care for you. Honour and cherish you. Honour and treasure you. Whatever the future may bring. Whatever the future may bring. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons, persons here present. To witness that I, Karen Louise Harvey. To witness that I, Karen Louise Harvey. Do take thee, David Nicholas to take Summerfield. Thee, David Nicholas Summerfield. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I will love and care for you. I will love and care for you. Honour and cherish you. Honour and cherish you. Whatever the future may bring. Whatever the future may bring. Now David and Karen have chosen to seal their marriage with the giving and receiving of wedding rings. The wedding rings are the outward sign of the lifelong promises that you've just made to each other. So, Alan, if you would come forward with the rings, please. So, Alan, first of all, would you take Karen's ring, please, and would you give that to David? Thank you very much. Now, if you would place that on the third finger of the left hand. Shaking. <laughs> Put a bit of weight. Get lost. <laughs> And just hold that ring in place, please, David, and say these words. Karen, all that I have, I give to you. Karen, all that I have, I give to you. So and I job have. You do anyway. <laughs> all that I am, I share with you. All that I am, I share with you. I give you this ring with, give all, you, sorry, uh, with all my love. I give you this ring with all my love. And ask you to wear it today and always. And ask you to wear it today and always. Now, Alan, would you give David's ring to Karen, please? Thank you very much, Thanks. Alan. You can sit down. And if you would also place that on the third yeah. finger of the left hand. <coughs> Put it on all the way. Yeah, I think you put and all the way. Well. <laughs> Just hold that ring in place, please, uh, Karen, and say these words. David, all that I have, I give to you. David, all that I have, I give to you. All that I am, I share with you. All that I am, I share with you. I give you this ring with all my love. I give you this ring with all my love. And ask you to wear it today and always. And ask you to wear it today and always. Thank you. Until tomorrow, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, symbolically, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> the white rings. <laughs> so, David and Karen, as I'm sure you know, Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. It is at no time taking the other for granted. And it is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. And it is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. <coughs> it is not looking for perfection in each other, and it is also having the capacity to forgive and to forget. Remember, it is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner for each other. <coughs> So, you have both now made the declarations required by law, but just as importantly, you've made solemn promises to each other. 
getting married today is the confirmation of the love, the friendship, and the respect that you have for one another. So, it therefore gives me the very greatest pleasure to say, you are now husband and wife. You may kiss your lovely you bride. <laughs>
Burn that wedding on the Coronation Street the other night. It's going smoothly. <coughs> Dave and myself have been friends for many years, 40 odd years now. 48 years. 48 years. <laughs> 48 years. <I'll... laughs> and we've shared many a work time together, holiday times, great times. Aren't we, mate? We have, we have. We have. We shared him, and you're like a brothers. We're like yeah, brothers. Yeah. Right? What was that? <laughs> Dave is a great guy. Karen, you met a great guy. Right? But a vain guy. But a vain guy. Dave's very, very vain. As you, you, do you know? Everybody knows. Yeah. Uh, he's that vain. Nice lad. But very vain. Is that vain? Right, yeah, it's nice, dude. Yeah. Right. <laughs> used to be a model, who can remember, a model in the 80s? Mm, uh, yes. Chiseled yes. cheekbones, blonde yes. hair, on the cover of them Mills and Boone's books and everything. Yeah, Fabio. Fabio, can you remember Fabio? Fabio, Dave, Fabio. Dave used to think he was Fabio. Yeah. In 1986, Dave used to think he was Fabio. In 96, well, he was starting to go a little bit like Francis Rossi. A bit like. 2006, Rigsby. So I get a phone call off him one day, Al, 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 what do you think, Al? I think I might have a Rooney. <laughs> Air transplant, Al, Al, what do you think? If it was any of my other mates, I would never, th I would think, what are you doing? But Dave? <laughs> do they know Dave? No. <laughs> hey, don't they know? No. You kidding me? I thought everybody knew. <laughs> Just me and you. <laughs> Did you know Dean? No, you. you didn't know. <laughs> you kidding me? Secrets? No way. Well, <laughs> oh, the cat's out the bag now. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Maybe I'll have to do I don't know what's saying. <laughs> Gone now. <laughs> no, he's a lovely guy. He's a lovely guy. He is. Yeah. She's up. Brothers, Dave. Yeah. Brothers, your brother I never had. Yeah, mate. <laughs> and I wish you all the best, Darren. I keep it short because I'm not one for talking. My missus does all the talking over there. So all I can say is I'd like to congratulate Dave and Karen on the brilliant day so far. Let's hope it carries on. Let's have a good night. Let's get rat -horsed. So let's raise a glass to Dave and Karen. Can I have one more? One more, please. For all the people that can't be here tonight, that should be here. Dave's mum and dad. Yeah, friends, Harvey, friends, everyone. To all the people that can't be here as well tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, no, this is a surprise. No one asked me about this, so. But, uh, but I, I think Eric's a bit shy, so I'm sort of taking his part for him. Uh, Eric. <laughs> What's his name? What's his name? Eric. What's his name? Eric. 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 She says who's Eric? <laughs> Who? Eric. Living next door to Eric. No, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Is the bar expensive? Yeah. Is it a bit dear? Yeah. So just think about this. Us men 
We're just at the bar, just having a little drink, aren't we? It's nice, isn't it? It's nice. So your woman, when you spent about 50, 60 quid behind that bar, she says, uh, about time you stopped, isn't it? <laughs> so you say, well, what do you mean? Who's got a new suit on today? Which bloke's got a new suit on today bought for the wedding? <laughs> this suit... <laughs> This suit has done 15 weddings. <laughs> okay? Now, the girls, I'm pretty sure we've bought a frock, haven't we? Yeah. Frock was a few quid, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We've had a hair done, haven't we? Yeah. Is that. I mean, mine was 475, and I know you can't tell. <laughs> what I mean. What, your suit? No, 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 no. No. The hair. Yeah, we're some people in glass houses. Better be careful, <laughs> because I can soon start, you know. You should have brought your step ladders. So, that's it, that's it. So, the other thing they did, they have the nails done, don't they? They have the nails done, don't they? How much is there? A few quid into your nails. Shoes, you haven't got enough pairs of shoes, have you? So the shoes. So, I think we're rattling up a little bit more than £50 now, aren't we? Aye. I think so. So, when you tell me, I haven't had enough now. Oh, and that's, you know, just point out to the ladies when they start getting on your case that you're spending a bit too much time behind that bar, just remind them that you're in your, your old suit that, that passes muster. You haven't had to make any special arrangements. You've done all this. And we've still had a fabulous day, just as good a day as the girls, but they all look marvellous. I did enjoy Karen's sprint up the aisle. <laughs> that, was, that was exceptionally good. Now, you're off the mirror, aren't you, Karen? You're off the mirror. The mirror. I, I would, I would, uh, Ashley's girlfriend's off the mirror, but she says by the bridge, but I think it's up a mirror. <laughs> but, you know. So... Dave rang me and invited me to his wedding and said, um, can you come? It's on the, the 22nd of September. I said, I, I think I'll have to consult me. So, yeah, we could come. He says, shall I send you an invitation? I said, no, well, what for? You've told me you've come. I've told you I'm coming. I don't need one. So, he says, oh, that's good. It'll save me a few quid. I said, why am I? He says, oh, I don't want to talk about it because he's a bit tight out there. <laughs> Off. That's good. So it cost a five and off. <laughs> so I've just, we've just moved back into Penkel from where we were living before. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I've evicted my son and moved into his house, <laughs> which was good of me. But when I got there, there was a, an invitation, a wedding invitation in the, in the window. So, I, oh, we got, oh, that's nice. It's silver with, with, with a bow on it. And a, like, a, an, like a, a jewel on it and all this lot. I thought, oh, dear hell, that's good. Opened it up. Mia, yep, so opened it up. You try to get by in Palace, didn't you, but... <laughs> that was, so we've had come this year, though, haven't we? <laughs> so, 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 I, so, so I opened the... I opened the envelope up. Uh, Pulled, pulled the, uh, pulled the thing out, and uh, oh, no, things are back to normal. There's a begging letter in here. <laughs> so listen, I'm only having fun. It's a beautiful place. You couldn't have asked for a nicer venue, and we, we, it, it, it is beautiful. And bear in mind, when you're paying a fiver for a pint, you're paying for the privilege of being in fantastic company in fantastic circumstances for a fantastic couple, and I feel very privileged to be allowed the honour to stand up and talk to you all and introduce myself as Dave's brother. I'm very proud of my brother. I'm very proud of my family. And I'm so to be all. And thank you very much. And we need to toast the bridesmaids, please. The bridesmaids. Do you want any more? <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Oh.
job. <laughs> yeah, seriously cool. Seriously cool. What? Serious job. Well done. It gives me great pleasure to call upon the group. Thanks everybody for coming for my and the wife's special day. And we, we brilliant you all could come and just eat and drink and have a fantastic time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>